hiking 80 miles in Scotland's Isle of Skye. It was the springtime here in the UK. The plants were getting greener, animals were being born, and the sun had just started to come out. It seemed like the perfect time to try an adventure closer to home. I'd be hiking across the Isle of Skye in Western Scotland, known as the Skye Trail, 80 miles of unmarked pathways through the hills. It starts in Ruahoonish and finishes in Broadford. A lot of it is make it up as you go, exactly what I was needing. I'm Liam by the way. Everything I need is in my backpack. I made sure to pack my waterproofs for this one. Camp will be wherever I get tired that night. I'll be sleeping under the stars in my tent. On this one I'll be walking through spectacular hills with knee high bog, crossing small streams and trying not to get eaten alive by the Scottish terror, midges. Scotland really is one of a kind when it comes to the outdoors and it's right on my doorstep. After a long train ride to the Isle of Skye, I arrived at the start point of this adventure. Right now then, I am in the Isle of Skye, in a phone box. This is the start place of the Skye Trail. And I'm right at the top of the Isle of Skye, the most northern tip, and I'm heading south. It's so windy, that's why I'm inside here. Just, uh, just some refuge from all that wind. But as you can see, hills somewhere, I'll show you later, but somewhere over there is the Outer Hebrides. And this is gonna be fun. The elements are gonna play a huge factor. Luckily, right now it's not raining, but I'm expecting lots of it. So let's go. The wind was howling, nearly enough to blow me off my feet. Almost immediately, I came across a boffy overlooking the cliffs. I thought I'd check it out. If it wasn't so early in the day, I would have got a good night's sleep here. I carried on walking along the coastal trail. I could see the hills I'd be climbing tomorrow in the distance. Not too far away from the Isle of Skye at the Outer Hebrides, I'd actually been there. It was a pretty clear day so I could get a glimpse of the islands. It was just a short swim over the sea. I was on the lookout for the elusive wild haggis. I'd never seen one in person. Apparently they roam these parts of Scotland. The locals placed planks of wood across the bogs like this. It was a huge help. I sat behind an old rock covered from the wind and had a short rest. The cliffs were high, the wind was strong, not the best recipe for safety. I made sure to get back from the edge. After a few miles of walking, I found this place. This would be camp for the night. Good to get inside this tent out of that wind. This sheet pen, it helps a lot. Um, yeah, really good find. It was either stay in the boffy, the nice, warm, comfortable boffy, or sleep in some sheep poo. Surrounded by a couple of walls, and I chose the sheep poo and walls. Well, it does the trick. So, uh, just gonna make some food quickly. And I think sun, sunset, I think it's about half nine in the Isle of Skye, especially this far up Scotland, so that's good. And sunrise is about half four in the morning, so lots of sunlight throughout the day. Um, gonna have a rest early night so I can get up early tomorrow and then get the first full day. And then I should be heading into the hills along the ridge line. So yeah, we'll see what tomorrow brings, but it was a good first day, good half day that was. Um, I had about an 18 hour travel day. So I'm surprised I'm still awake. <laughs> After a good night's rest, it was time to head up into the Trottenish Ridge. 
I made sure to appreciate the flat road and dry feet, both of which I wouldn't have for a while. So I made my way into the hills, just came up this way, underneath that. I don't think you can call them mountains, I think the highest point I'll reach on a walk is about six or 700 meters, so I don't know what classifies a mountain, but I'll call them hills. I'll be heading along the ridge, it's called the Trotternish Ridge, and should take me about a day and a half, two days. If I push myself, I reckon I could do it in a day, but I want to enjoy it, so I'll probably do it in a day and a half too. But it's boggy. Coming up, it's not too bad, but just beneath over that way, it was bog trotting. Lots of tourists, but I'm sure the further I get into the ridge, the less people I'll see. It was good to get into the hills. The air up there is just different. I just couldn't pass up a cafe truck in the middle of nowhere, so I went in to investigate. One of the best coffees I've had for a while. It also wore me up. These were windswept lands, nothing much grows here. Just behind the wall in the middle of nowhere. So come down from that trail up there and I'm following along the ridge. And later on, I'll be heading that way towards them hills but I've got the sun on me I'm just gonna sunbathe have something to eat that coffee was good fueled me up but it's so barren out here the Isle of Skye is uh, it's wild very wild the bog seemed to drip with water I don't even know how it's possible I came across some sheep with their lambs just grazing away minding their own business The advantage of being up this high is that natural springs pop up out of the ground. So I fill my bottle up. You can't beat this kind of water. Fresh air, spring water and a blue sky. What more could I want? Dry shoes would have been nice actually. I was past the highest point of the ridge by now, and some great tracks to follow. I always think about how old these trails must be, and how many years people have used them for. It still amazes me today. I passed probably the most famous tourist landmark in the Isle of Skye, the store. I'm pretty sure they're described as needle-like rock formations coming out of the hill. I'm not too scientific, but I'm pretty sure that's right. I headed downhill towards the coast. Scotland seems to have a knack of being sunny and grey right at the same time. It's been a really satisfying day today. It's uh, been a really tough one, but it's just nice, full. I mean, I started at probably like nine and it's 7 p.m. right now. So that's a full day walk and I've still got to go some more. But uh, this isn't the Isle of Skye that I've read about. Usually it's dynamic weather lots of rain but now I'm just being blessed really lucky and over there as well I don't know if you can see there's like a, a golf green like a putting green and like that house behind me there there's like a tee off point so someone's made themselves a tee off point across the lock that is the coolest thing I've ever seen <laughs> got to be uh, got to have some money to waste golf balls like that <laughs> Yeah, no midges, fingers crossed, no rain, the sun's out, it's pretty warm down here, now I'm, I've come down a lot, no reason not to smile, I could do with some hot fish and chips and a can of coke right now, that would be the perfect day, maybe tomorrow, maybe tomorrow, but uh, lips are dry. 
that wind constantly in your face. It uh, just dries your skin out. So, gotta sort that out. Just nice, just to, just to be out. What more can I say? I've needed this adventure. Needed it. But the views are something else. Pretty magical. The midges have arrived. I was happy to be in a tent away from all the midges. I made some food and settled down for the night. There's something about waking up early in the hills that I just enjoy. A sheep was posing for a picture on top of a rock, so I let it do its thing. It's a beautiful day. It's really warm, actually. I've kind of too hot for this coat, but be heading into poetry soon so yeah but uh i've just been walking along the coastal path There's some good views of the island surrounding the sky in the distance i'll be heading that way with all the, the hills and mountains and just go over the lip and there is poetry i could smell the fish and chips right now but the Isle of Skye trail, there isn't a defined kind of walking route. Um, it's not an official trail, so, which I'm surprised it isn't. It's really good. But uh, as you can see, there are these kind of animal tracks and trails that people use for walking. And you kind of just got to connect them all. So, and sometimes you just got to go off route and make your own trail up, which is always fun through all the bog. Eventually I'm just going to fall in one soon and get stuck, but <laughs> it's all fun. Oh, it's a good sight to see some civilization. It was a beautiful spring day, ideal for walking. I got into poetry and had a look around. I sat in a cafe, I had a drink, and I managed to charge my power bank. Just a little. I left poetry behind and the route took me along the main road for a little while. Got myself some fish and chips from the Isle of Skye. Poetry just up there. Made my way out of it. I found a little bench overlooking a lock and I'm gonna enjoy this. My mouth is watering. But I'm heading that way. A bit of road walking and then into towards the hills and the coast. Got the Isle of Sky Candle Company. I might get a coffee actually from there just before I leave. Oh life is good. Simple but good. And it's delicious. Tell you what, a belly full of warm food and just a little sit down does wonders for morale. I feel like I could walk another 40 miles right now. It'll wear off soon, but 
it's just come down to towards the sea it's where the like the little trail follows and the sun's out it's actually too warm to wear this so i'm gonna take this off uv rating out of 10 it's five right now so it advises to wear sun cream top of scotland it's only may <laughs> i've been blessed i don't want to jinx it because sky can change just like that the isle of sky is known for its yeah i'm not gonna say anything don't jinx it Liam. but uh i'm glad i got the ridge out of the way yesterday because two days on that would have been a bit miserable with all that wind but i'm down by the coast now and it's a lot warmer a lot less windy got the fresh sea breeze you know, right on cue so yeah i'm gonna have this coffee and then set off should be another two two and a bit days there's no rush though there is no rush i'm just taking it all in i had a full belly and the sun was out it was time to get the miles in the long, flat country roads were a pleasant change from all them hills. You got the sheep and the lambs chilling in the shade. How do you even say that? Achnach Hanaid. Achnach Hanaid. Pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. Sometimes it get into a rhythm and everything flows perfectly. Footstep after footstep, the time just seems to fly by. When it's like this, I really don't have a care in the world. Oh, I've found a good spot. <laughs> so there's a little path that comes around the coast. Just had to squeeze past some sheep. And uh, hopefully I can get you know, a flat spot down there. Yes, yes, yes. So that's me pretty much done for the day. It's just gone 9 pm. Uh, sun sets about half nine. You can see it sitting just behind me. It's been a good day. Uh, I've caught the sun a bit, I've walked a lot of miles and yeah i can relax i've had something to eat hydrated brush my teeth wash my pots i love being next to like a water source especially the ocean or the sea you can just wash your pots in there you can wash your toothbrush right i'm usually having to ration my water but i've got fresh drinking water everywhere i've got my water filter so yeah it's uh pretty simple scotland's pretty good The sky coast was beautiful and it seemed like something out of the movies. I'd head inland towards a new set of hills soon. I reached the pub on the main road so I went in and had a look around. A pub next to the Isle of Skye brewery. I was in heaven. But I still had work to do so loaded fries and a coffee is what I got. I came across a monument for the two men who explored these hills. I'll be actually following in their footsteps soon. That has hit the spot. Loaded fries with a coffee and went into the toilets to fill up my water bottles. And I looked in the mirror and I'm like, I just look weather beaten. I look like I haven't seen a hot room for six months. <laughs> like I've been out here for ages. It's only been about three days. So, got a nice tan coming on, but uh, heading off into the hills now, to the Cullins, I think you call them. 
left and right of me. I'm expecting lots of bog. I'm heading towards a little village called Elgol. That's the next kind of resupply point. Somewhere where I can get some food and a coffee. It's probably about a day's walk, 18 miles. So, yeah, in the wild. I'm liking it. I'm fine for supplies and all that, so. Yeah, I'm energized. Feeling good. About two days left, just under. Don't want to jinx it, haven't rained. So looking a bit ominous, but the forecast, it's just, it's been okay for Liam. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. The stream crossing made it a bit more fun. The challenge was to keep my feet dry as much as possible. I'd often take a seat on a rock, eating a snack while taking in the view. It's uh they're just covered, the peaks are covered with lots of cloud. Spots of rain, I've kind of jinxed it, but it's uh, slightly brighter over there and hopefully we get out and uh, the weather will be okay. There were hills to the left and to the right of me, with locks and streams dotted all over the place. This is what I think when Scotland springs to mind. Wow. So this is a dried up riverbed. And it goes all the way into the lock. It comes from up there somewhere. And it's May at the moment, but in winter, this must be a raging torrent. Look at all that. Oh, it's just eroded. I guess I'm quite lucky now. Just come across this place. <laughs> Huge boffy. Of the sea. It's too early, but look how many beds are off. <laughs> this is perfect if the weather was bad, but luckily the sun's out. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Even gas and everything. Nice. There we go. I'd take this over a boffy any day of the week, unless it was raining, of course. Make my way along this cliff and it is sketchy. Got some eroded pathway all the way down. Some good views though. It's like an obstacle course this. It looked like somebody had made their campsite so I carried on down the coast. With the sun fading in the sky, I reached the small picturesque village of Elgol. There was a toilet, so I filled up with clean drinking water. Anytime I could, I'd throw my litter into a bin. I'd made sure to take everything out with me. It's better that way. It looked like me and the cows were heading in the same direction. 
I must have been on a cow highway. Come on. <laughs> Just have a look at these trainers. <laughs> They've lasted me a while. They've, uh, they've done quite a few hundred miles, but it's coming to an end. Have a look. <laughs> oh my, that's actually dangerous. So yeah, last trip for sure. Good job of check them. Uh, they're still pretty comfortable as well, but uh, it's just the grip. It goes. It happens, but time to get some new ones. It rained a little overnight and the temperature dropped. It was actually pretty cool. I got a quick breakfast and I sampled some haggis crisps. They were amazing. Farms and country roads were the trail for a lot of the day. It is the final day and I cannot wait. Just stopped at the cafe that I went past last night. Got some stuff, got a coffee. Just snacks for the rest of the day. I think I've got about 18 miles or just under now. Um, following the road and then I might jump onto a trail. Uh, slept well. Lips are really chapped but because it was sunny yesterday and the day before that so cannot complain. Uh, weather's a bit windy. It was raining on and off last night but I did manage to sleep. So I'm feeling good. I've got spring in my step. So let's just get these miles down. I managed to see some Highland cattle. One looked like it needed to scratch an itch. Little things like that gave me a laugh and I definitely need it for what was to come. Waterproofs are on for the first time on the whole trip. It's the last day as well. Been super lucky. Not even raining too bad, but it'll get you wet. But uh, lots of cloud. I could see there's a mountain there, or a hill. I could see that about 20 minutes ago, but now it's disappeared due to all the cloud. So I'm coming up to a, a town called Torin, I think you pronounce it. There's like a, I think there's a little shop there. I might call in, get a coffee. I don't really need to stop, but I'm uh, ahead of schedule. I'm feeling good. I'm about, Three and a half hours away from the finish, and it's raining, so I just take my time. I'm loving it. Ah, the sky has been amazing so far. The fishermen obviously knew the weather was going to be awful. The Scots must think they're being funny, which they're really not. Six miles left exactly. Weather has been horrendous. It's made up for the past three days of nice weather. <laughs> I'm drenched. Waterproofs are just saturated. Managed to stop at a little cafe. Got a coffee. Um, didn't record anything. I just I was just glad to get inside. I uh, picked up a. Oh, it's amazing. One of the nicest things I've ever had. And Scotland, this should be like the national dish of Scotland. It was a breakfast pie. So think of like a scotch pie, but with like beans and some black pudding, bacon, sausage, mash, all in one pie. And it was, oh, it was amazing. I'm, my mouth's watering again. I wish I got 10 of them. I'm feeling good still. Six miles, two hours. Uh, a lot of it is just being a long road like this with a path next to it. The clouds seemed to break and I could see the blue sky trying to poke through. Not far at all now. Just over that hill. Here's the end point. Oh, 
Crawford. Oh my, it's heat raking now. I'm following the road. The sun's come out a bit so I can dry all my stuff out. It's all saturated. Yeah, that's guy. Okay. It's been good. What a beautiful way to end it. Look at that sky. Not bad. It's the first deer I've seen on this whole trip. <laughs> Just as I'm finishing. With the houses in the distance, I knew I was close. <laughs> well, that is the Isle of Skye done. I enjoyed it. It was tough but manageable. Uh, still feel pretty good. I could probably go for a couple more days. Weather brilliant. What I love about Scotland and the Isle of Skye is you just, you just make it up as you go along a lot of it, and you don't really get that in the UK. Uh, Scotland is one of a kind when it comes to long distance hiking it, you can't beat it really, especially for the UK. But I'm sitting in a nice bus stop, away from all the wind, it's pretty warm, and I'm feeling good, feeling good. So, how the sky? It's been fun.